Welcome back to my stand-up channel. Terrified passengers called their parents to tell them they loved them after their train crashed and filled with smoke like a terror attack. Seventeen people have reportedly been taken to hospital after two trains collided inside Fisherton Tunnel, near Salisbury last night. One of the drivers, a man in his 70s, spent two hours in the wreckage of his cab before he was finally cut free and airlifted to hospital. He suffered life-changing injuries in the horror. Authorities declared a major incident and set up a casualty center with 50 firefighters rushing to the scene with other emergency services. Of the casualties, 13 were treated at Salisbury District Hospital. Just one remains in hospital. He is in a stable condition, health chiefs say. Student Callum Steadman, 16, said passengers believed they would die and started calling their parents to tell them that they loved them. Callum, from Weybridge, Surrey, had been returning to Warminster School after the half-term when the incident happened. The boarder said the train was quite full. I was standing. We felt a jolt and everything went black. We all landed on each other and the train was at 45 degrees on its side. Then lights started coming on from people's phones and we started looking around. You see people with broken noses and black eyes and blood dripping. Some people had bad legs. There was one 17-year-old lad who went to hospital with an injured leg, possibly broken. It was just really scary. The smoke was the worst part because you thought it was going to catch fire and you would die. He likened it to a terror attack, adding, It was really scary. Lots of people started taking videos saying, Mom and Dad, I love you, scared they were going to die. I know the driver wasn't in good shape. I know there were three in critical condition. A girl landed on top of me and I hit my head on a pole. Outside the door there was a big fireball and there was smoke and then there was lots of smoke and lots of fuel and that's when everyone started panicking. Everyone was just saying, guys are you okay? There were a lot of people who were quite panicked, so we crying and some people were kicking in the windows because they were stressed. It was pitch black, we couldn't see anything apart from people's phones lighting up within the carriage. My head was pounding and I was dizzy but once I got off and got inside the church I was given two neurofen and two paracetamols I felt a bit better. He added passengers couldn't find the hammer tool used to break glass when they were trapped. Massive bang. Sailor Morgan Harris, who was traveling from London Waterloo back to his base in Yeovil, said he was thrown from his seat due to the impact of the huge crash. The 20-year-old said, it was all going along, normally then, all of a sudden, there was this massive bang and all of the lights went out. There were sparks and flames from where we had come off the track, and there was a load of ash coming from outside. Our train was on its side. I was thrown out of my seat and banged against the table. Passenger Dimitri Popa from Romania, was traveling on the train from London to Sherbourne when the terrifying crash occurred. The 17-year-old added, it all happened so fast. I was just sitting in the first carriage and there was a huge crash. The carriage was 45 degrees to the right. We didn't know where we were or anything. We were all just so shocked. Another passenger, Lucy Gregory, told Good Morning Britain, first thing I did was message my dad. I've looked back at the messages. At 6.42 p.m. I said we're coming into Salisbury. At 6.43 p.m. I messaged again saying our train has crashed. Just this impact, I actually slide backwards underneath the table on the opposite side of the train which then was digging into my back and my neck. Meanwhile Angela Mattingly said, we were trying to break windows but we couldn't find a metal hammer. Other people were saying if you do break a window don't climb out in case there's a live rail. It was initially suggested the first train derailed when it struck an unknown object. However, British Transport Police today said there's no evidence to suggest that. Visibly shaken. BTP Inspector Muller Hock said that 100 people had been evacuated in the major incident. He confirmed that there had been no fatalities but a number of people were injured and walking wounded. Reverend Andy Bilesfield took in 120 passengers from both trains into St. Mark's Church and described them as visibly shaken. 
boxes of plastic water bottles and blankets were brought to the casualty center, with passengers being given food while there. Said there were some people who were visibly shaken and others had some injuries and others were frustrated and just wanted to get home. The first people seemed to be absolutely fine, there were a few with injuries, some of them were shaken and just wanted somewhere to sit down. We just popped the kettle on and in fact some of the neighbors popped around with biscuits and milk. It's a real pulling together. There were about 100, 120 people. It was a lot of cups of tea. It was quite nice that the community came together at the last minute for an emergency. Source the dash sun.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.